Team Taiwan won 12 medals at the Tokyo Olympics. That's more than twice than ever before. Now, why did we perform so well this time? Well, today I have with me the director of the sports science program at Taiwan's Olympic team, Professor Xiang Ziyuan of National Taiwan Normal University. So um, 12 Olympic medals, that's more than twice than ever before. Can you tell us why uh, Team Taiwan performed so well this time? I think the major re reason is that the uh, government support many facilities for the training center. And also after 2017, the Taipei World University Games, this society in Taiwan recognized the value of sports. So the, all the athletes and the coaches, they are willing to train and they train harder than ever. So that's why uh, the uh, performance in this year, Tokyo Olympic, is much better than previous games. So I did see some footage of how AI is helping the female weightlifters. How much of an edge do you think that technology plays in competition? We use the AI to try to record the movement of the weightlifter. Also, we can track their uh, trajectory of the barbell, so we know their movement is stable or not. So uh, during the training session, we can record every lift the athlete performs. So Guo Xingchun uh, was quite amazing. She broke three Olympic records. Did you expect yeah. her to do that? Yes. Or was uh, it a surprise uh, to you? Guo Xingchun uh, is truly the, the gold medalist for sure. You were expecting her to get a gold? Yeah, yeah. Everybody expects <laughs> that. Yeah. Well, you know, we're so proud of all the athletes and we've won in so many new sports. There's six new sports that we medaled in. Why do you think Taiwan was able to branch out and excel in all these new sports? We have judo and, and golf and, you know, all, all these different sports. Those sports are not new sports in Taiwan. Uh, you know, in uh, compared with the Western country, uh, the Asian SD are good at the, the sport with the weight class and also ah. with the fine motor skill. So this kind of sport are very suitable for the Taiwanese SD. For example, the weight lifting and taekwondo uh, are weight class sports. And other sports like uh, karate, judo, and uh, boxing are also similar. The other one is the sports with fine motor skill, like uh, archery or shooting. And for badminton and table tennis and the golf are similar to this kind of sports. So these kind of sports are very good for Taiwanese to develop. Uh, I, I think the only new sports in Olympic uh, is the gymnastic this time. Gymnastic uh, performed very well. Uh, in this Olympic, uh, the reason is that there's a movie called Jump Boys. Right. In I think it's in 2005. Uh, since that movie, uh, many young students try to uh, practice gymnastics, and so we can recruit many good uh, athletes and coaches to join us the gymnastic team. Oh, so we're strong for our more petite bodies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And also fine motor skills. Why do you think that yeah. we're good at sports with fine motor skills? Uh, fine motor skills need uh, a lot of practice. Our athletes are uh, working so hard so they can practice their skill in many details so they can perform well during the competition. So you mentioned that, you know, the documentary Jump Boys had a big impact on gymnastics. Would you say that Taiwan um, is beginning to encourage more young people to get into athletics and that's becoming you know, an, an inspiration for young people today? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, since Taiwan uh, society recognized the value of sports uh, after the 2017 uh, World University Games, so uh, more people like to, uh, to be involved in the sports. And uh, so we can attract more uh, good athletes uh, to join the team. Yeah. And you also said that the government has been giving more support. What kind of support has the government been giving? Since 2015, our National Training Center was officially established. Uh, the government spent uh, a lot of funding to build a new facility in the training center. And also, uh, they recruit many uh, sports scientists to join the uh, National Training Center. So uh, this uh, facility and uh, more person to help the athlete can make the 
uh, training even better than, than than ever. Yeah. Well, tell me what's involved with sports training. I mean, how much sacrifice does it take on the part of athletes to be able to perform at that world class level? They need to train every day during the whole year, and so they don't have much time to enjoy their life. So their daily uh, life is in the sports field. And also uh, for those uh, sports with the weight class, they need to be very careful on their eating and their habits. And how long do they train every day? Usually they train uh, two or three sessions per day. Every session should be uh, about uh, three hours. So uh, from the morning, and afternoon, and also sometimes they train during the evening. Wow, that's an amazing commitment. Do they have to stay away from, you know, junk food, uh, alcohol, well, um, sugar, these things that are bad for the body? Uh, of course, yeah. So, <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, the coach will prohibit the, the athlete to eat all those foods, yeah. What are some up and coming sports that you expect us to perform very well in the next Olympics? Uh, I, I think the, those sports with medals uh, this year should be good in the next Olympics. And also track and field. Really? And the swimming. Which ones? Yeah, we can see swimming. many young athletes uh, this year. For example, the swimmer and also the table tennis player. They are very young, so they have many years to train for the next Olympics. Thank you so much, Professor Shang Zuyuan. I've been speaking with Professor Shang of National Taiwan Normal University. He is the Director of Sports Science for Team Taiwan. Thank you for all that you've done for, for Taiwan. We're so proud. Thank you. Sure. Uh, I'm also proud to, to be one of the team.